Hey guys, I'm Andy. We're out here at L.L. Stubbs RV Park and we're going to hook up the sewer hose today. So the first thing we want to do is probably grab a pair of gloves because everybody knows playing with the sewer is fun. In a prior video, we showed you how to hook up your water. Everybody's going to hook it up differently. In here, we've got our sewer hose. I'm not sure the name of this one right off the top of my head, but it is a darn good hose. I love this hose. Um, I'll put in the link in the description below so you can pick one of these up. One thing I like about it is they're nice, quick, easy disconnects. These, it's uh, solidly connected from the hose to here, so these don't come unhooked. You just don't spin them off. They won't fall off. They're crimped on and glued to the connector, so you're not going to be having the ends pop off on you. Grab this connector here. These come as a kit. When you buy it, you should you'll get one of these with it. Come over here to your sewer connection. All the parts are a little different, but most of them you'll screw it in. And just you know, two turns is fine. Let's grab this one. Grab it into your hose. Hook it on here. Clip it. Make sure it's clipped on there good. Look at all the dogs, make sure they're good and solid. Now, if you won't reach like this one, that's why they come with two extensions to reach the outlet. Hook this up first. And the reason why we're hooking this up first is because you want your hose hooked up before you go opening your valves. Now. All right. Back here you've got your two valves on this particular rig. The tank on the left is our black water, that's toilet only. The tank on the right is our gray water, that's from your sinks and your shower. The difference in valve size is one thing that'll help, and pipe size. If you look back here, your black water is usually running a, a um, I want to say a three inch, three inch pipe, bigger valve. Make sure these valves are pushed in snug before you go taking this cap off. Not fun. So remove the cap. Go off to the side. Connect this hose. Make sure you twist it good on the dogs. Good and tight. There. It should lock in. Check your dogs. Make sure it's good. Once that's done, We'll see, I know these tanks are empty. If they're not, well, I'm gonna have to talk to the kid about that. But uh, we're gonna always, when you dump your sewer, once you've hooked it up, you pull your black water first. So pull the valve on your black water straight out. Once that's finished emptying the tank, go ahead and close it. Then you open up your gray water. Black water first, gray water second, because the gray water will help flush your hose of all the solids that were in your black water tank from your toilet, all right? And it helps clean out your hose. It's not gonna be as bad when you'd go to clean up. So now we'll pull the gray water side. Now you can support your hose with a slinky. I don't have one with me, but I'll add one to the description. So if you want a slinky setup to lay your hose on so it's gravity's all the way down, I'll include that in the link for you to pick one up as well. So after that's done draining, close your valves and that's it. Now you're ready. So monitor your tanks. Whenever I'm RVing, I don't like to have these valves open the whole time. If one gets stuck, if something gets stuck and you get a clog in your tank, you're going to have a mess trying to unclog it. So I always keep them shut, monitor the tank levels. When they get three quarters full or so, then I come out here, dump the tank and shut them. All right. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment, like the videos, subscribe, and um, you never know what I'm going to put out next, so uh, thanks for watching.